Welcome guys, for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Claudette with Miss Puff Creative Corner. And today I'm gonna to be showing you how I created fake peppermint candies for my holiday decor. So if you're interested in seeing that, please do stick around. So these are the fake peppermint candies that I created and I made some into ornaments i plan to hang them on my little miniature christmas tree so what you're gonna need to create this is you're gonna need i got this from the dollar tree and this was an ice cube tray they have the peppermint candy as well as the candy canes and i thought that was just neat for a dollar i just picked one up because i wanted to try it so you're gonna need one of that whether it's an ice cube tray or a molding tray, you're gonna need some paint brushes. You're gonna need your hot glue gun, as well as glue sticks. And I would recommend using a larger hot glue gun with a larger glue stick. To fill the trays is gonna require a lot, but if all you have is a small one, go right ahead. We're gonna need a toothpick or a stick. You're gonna need some water to clean your brushes with. So you're gonna need some paint and these are multi-surface paint and it's by Apple Barrel. I got 12 in a pack at Amazon and it was, I believe was $9. So it's under $10 for the 12 pack. All right, so let's go ahead. What you're gonna do is go ahead and get your glue and pretty much it is so simple. What you're gonna do is get your hot glue gun and fill your trays up. And you're gonna need at least, if you have the six inch larger glue sticks, you're gonna need at least four, I would say, one per each mold. So before they start to cool, what you wanna do is take some twine. Um, I'm gonna take some white twine and I cut about six inches and then you're gonna create a knot to the bottom. Stick these in and that's gonna create your loop for your ornaments. Let's try putting the twine in first and then add in the hot glue. See if that would be better. So it depends on how thick you want your candy to be is how you're gonna fill those. And I just kinda tap it so it could kinda level out. Okay, so I'll give these at least a good hour to dry before you take them out of the mold. Okay, so we're just gonna work these out. And you just wanna work around the edges. The thicker, I think it'll be better if you make it too thin. It probably could broke as you're taking it out of, of the mold. I haven't had that yet. And if you want a lot of these, I would get more than one mold. This is how it looks. So you could barely see the peppermint swirls on this. So once it's painted, you'll be able to see your swirls. And then if you get these little edges right here, you wanna go ahead and snip those off. I'm just taking my scissors and cutting off the rough edges of the glue sticks that did not um, settle and dry smooth. So let's go ahead and get our paper plate. So now we're gonna bring in our white paint and I'm just gonna put a little bit of paint and this is a satin paint so you have a little shine and then we're just gonna paint, add a coat of paint on the top and then to the edges where the wrapping's supposed to be. I just give one coat to the wrapping area so that could look a little lighter so it could look like wrapping and the remainder, the actual peppermint part with the swirls, I would recommend giving it three to four coats. Let it dry in between. So this red is a candy apple red. Okay, so I'm gonna come in with a finer tip paintbrush 
and I am going to work on these. These don't have the um, strings on though. These I forgot to put strings on. So we're just going to go ahead and put the red dot here in the middle and they don't have to be perfect. Okay. And then I'm just going to try to come down and outline this um, swirls. And then I'm going to take it, bring it over to the side. The swirl indentation is just here to the top. You don't have anything down on the side, so I'm just following it down on the side. So I may give that a second coat and just make sure your white is completely dry. And once you're going on with your red ink, so you want to add a nice amount to your brush when you're applying your red. So it could be nice and heavy and you won't have any streaks. So you just continue like that with the rest. I just keep the bottom plain. So if you guys like what you saw here today, maybe you'd like to check out these videos. So thank you guys for tuning in. This is Claudette, and I'm hoping to see you on my next video. 